That's right. I told the admin bum, bum, bum. to shut his mouth. What? I told you. What? In the butt. What? <laughs> it's like what? He's <laughs> nothing. But you're like what? 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 And I was like in the butt. So the what? What? In and I was just like chicken sandwich. Hey, Montagra, can I have a chicken sandwich? No. <laughs> All right, I, I think we have to explain the story to the viewers now that we've mentioned it like four times now. I'll do the voice, Montego. I'll do the voice. No, no, no. I think I should do it. All right. Um, all right, so Sarah and I, or that hipster and I, were in New York, right? And we were going to go to a restaurant. Um, but we decided, you know, let's go to a fast food place real quick. You know, try a double down or something at Ew. KFC. Are they good? They are amazing. I'm gonna try one next time I go there, even though they sound disgusting. I'm getting disgusting. attacked by a zombie right now. Can you know? What? I'm getting attacked by a zombie. No one's helping me. Well, couldn't hear you. We're like. <laughs> I would if I wasn't getting I attacked him. by every other mob in the world. All right. All right well, anyway. Yeah. Well, hey, look, that's a zombie. So, yeah, Sarah and I were at the um. We're at KFC. We were eating our sandwiches. I was eating a double down. She was having just a regular chicken sandwich because she thought the double down might have been disgusting, but it really wasn't. The double down is amazing. Tell them what it's it is much, if they don't know what it is. It's much easier to swallow than an actual chicken sandwich uh, uh, because uh. there is no bread. Tell them what it is, Montego. It's just it's just two chicken patties with bacon and cheese. Yeah, that's really it's, what it it's is. Not, it's not bad, and it's not as large as they make it seem in the videos. Why are you tossing me things? Because you're a Vendus. I'm a, I'm a recording part. Montegra, this things. is going to be a saloon slash brothel. Okay? So eat it. It's still a really small saloon. It's going to be super tall. It doesn't have to be tall. It has to be wide. Wide. <laughs> there, need <to> be <laughs> there need to be card tables with games and gamblers. You guys are pushing women. me up. And I want to be a house. You said you want to see a card table? Yeah, like card tables and, and fancy I, women and... Fancy women? Yeah, fancy women. How am I going to make a fancy pens. woman? You tell me. You tell me. I don't know, I think maybe some fences and a pumpkin. Oh, I fell. <laughs> I hate some fences and a pumpkin? Yeah, make like a stick figure body and a pumpkin face. How would we put in... And then you can call her pumpkin. Aww. 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 Until she rots. <laughs> what? Nick, you have until the you, most morose. And, you have the most until you, until you hollow her out. But take a no! It's gonna sound wrong until you hollow her out. This and drill one, a one inch by All one right. inch hole and just. Back to my story. Um, <laughs> we left our heroes off at KFC where they were eating chicken sandwiches. What is this? Anyway. Shadow of Istrafel? Yes. So. Shut up, old peculiar. Anyway, as we were uh, as we were eating, we're just you know enjoying a meal, talking, and then all of a sudden this this large black woman comes in. Hey, just, watch how you say it though. That's good. that could get. I'm not I'm not trying to say it offensively. I'm saying it as a matter of fact. She had dark skin. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a, that sounded a lot more offensive. <laughs> as a matter of fact, she had dark skin. Right. Anyway, Wait. so she comes in. She's she must have been homeless or something. I don't know. But she comes in, she and she walks over to us, like not not the uh, not the black family that was eating at the other end of the restaurant, or you know the black people, the black couple at the tip uh, at the table next to her. So there's a couple of old black men eating chicken sandwiches. No, she comes to us, the white couple sitting in the front of the restaurant, and she did like no, not in the front of the restaurant, the middle of the restaurant. You guys, just so, so you know, she we comes racist, over to I'm us. Black, so just so you know. Yeah, all right. I sound yeah. Like a white kid. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shut up. No, in, in all seriousness, he is. But anyway, um, so she comes over to us, the white couple, in the middle of the restaurant that has no time for any of her shenanigans because we've got to catch the train after to go back to Connecticut, the both of us, because we were going to a party or something. I don't even remember at this point. But anyway, so she comes to us. She sits down directly next to me and puts her arm around my shoulder and says, hi, can I have some of that delicious chicken? <laughs> and I'm like, what? And she's like, I just want a couple dollars for some delicious chicken. And like, I had a, I was, that's, that's what she said. She said, I need some delicious chicken. 
And sure. then she started telling me about like how the guy that usually gives her money to buy food wasn't here today and how he's off at vacation. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm sorry. I just I don't have money. And she's like, I just I just want some delicious chicken. Can I, can I have some of your sandwich because I want some delicious chicken? <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I'm sorry. I just, you know, it's my food. I'd like to eat. And she's like, yeah, me, me too. Me too. <laughs> So, Crazy black anyway, people. I, where are you guys, by the way? Because I'm just running around the encampment. I'm right. building the car, car tables right now. I was getting me All some right. food. Um, anyway, so after she, like, introduces herself, she says her name, she tells us the, the person, you know, that usually gives her food. Like, she starts molesting my shoulder, like, even more. Seems like I don't everyone know molests what, the, what, your what is up with people molesting my shoulder? <laughs> yeah. You I just I don't understand. Shoulders. Yes, I have very attractive shoulders. Um <laughs> Yep, because that's what's attractive. Shoulders. That, that's what's attractive oh man, about his me. shoulders are so sexy. Mm. Oh man, I just I look at those things shoulders. and I just wanna <clears throat> Oh god, one second, you're going to a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> so she 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 asks us for a delicious chicken. She la she asks us for money, and we're just like no. And then she we finally like get her to start making her exit. So, and then like it just so happens that I was sick that day, so I sneeze, <laughs> and she looks over at me, and then she sits down and she stays, and she tells us about this tonic that we could make out of ki out of like dish detergent, <laughs> uh, sand, and some water. Sand? And I'm just like. All right, yeah, I'm serious, and I'm just like, okay, well, we're trying to eat here. Do you mind like going away now? And she's like, yeah, I, I understand. Man. <laughs> and she just she gets up, she leaves after a while, and I just look over at Sarah and I'm like, is this normal in New York? Because <laughs> that was like the first time it's ever happened to me. Oh man, but um, it creepy. It was really creepy, yeah. You got really silent, by the way. Me? Yeah. I was listening to the story. Oh, well, no, I mean, your voice it's is silent. It's very quiet. I don't know, it's like happens randomly, even though my sound stays the same. Yeah, but, um... Can you protect me, Montegro? No. I can walk around you. Is that better? I can I can focus the camera at you. That'll help. Yeah, that's, that's much better. I didn't change anything, so I don't know. Okay. Anyway... <clears throat> so, right, she she gets up from our table, and that's not even the end of the story. She gets up from our table, she goes to, like, while I'm, like, looking over at Sarah and I'm asking her if this is normal in New York, she goes up to the front counter, and I'm, like, watching this out of the corner of my eye, and she starts talking to the people serving the food, and apparently asking them for a free meal. And then, like, when they tell her no, and say that's not how business works, she flips... Uh, shit. She she just starts screaming and like stomping and like, I want like creating my like just this I want huge. My delicious chicken. I just want some of that delicious chicken. Chicken. No, like seriously, that's what she was like screaming. Knuckle. And then like, they were like, "I'm sorry, we really cannot give you any of our chicken for free." And she just she's like, "You're all going to hell. One day you're gonna come back here, and this place isn't gonna be here no more." No, really. And I'm just like, "Wow, is she really threatening the people to like burn the place down?" And at the front, next to the black family, I forgot to mention there was a black cop woman, <laughs> just like eating chicken. Like, why did they? Why do you always have to say that they're black? Well, no, I just <laughs> I, I don't know why. It might I interact have to with the story. It. Interact with the story, really? Yes, interact. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a fact that we were the only white people in the store. Really? I just I need to illustrate that it's point. KFC. It's KFC. It oh, yeah, that makes sense now. It's KFC. Yeah, that, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. But no, seriously, I, like I'm not even kidding. We were the only white people in the store. Montego, how does this car table look? I know it looks really bad, but you know. It's really small, but it looks pretty sweet. Yeah. I can't really. Could be bigger. You know what? Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, yeah. So she's she's just complaining, creating a scene, threatening the store, and everyone's ignoring her. I'm like, really? She Are people in New York this used? Like, 
Maybe, yeah. Maybe she makes threats every day and never follows through, and everyone in the neighborhood knows it or something, because, I don't know, people would not get away with that in Connecticut. Or here. Anywhere, really. Anywhere with real people. <laughs> <laughs> they say people in New York aren't real. New yeah. York has robots. Of course not. They're fake. Not real people. Yeah. Is this real life? I I think this this game that we're playing is real life. Yeah. And we're just living in a virtual world.